Hey everyone, this is James with WSTrades.com. I want to talk about using acceleration bands to help you make better trades. So acceleration bands are based on the average trading range for each day. Acceleration bands are plotted around a simple moving average as the midpoint, and the upper and lower bands are calculated based on high and low prices. Points of intersection with the price tend to indicate the trend and or reversal. Let's hop into thinkorswim here and slap this on the chart. Um, in the upper right, I've got the studies button, then I'll click edit studies. Then I will search for acceleration bands. There it is. Double click on it. Click apply and click OK. All right, so we got it on the chart. Kind of looks like Bollinger bands in a way. So let's talk about how we actually use it to make trades. So the idea here is when the price touches or breaks through this top line, we could see price reversal to the downside. And then when this price gets near, touches, or crosses through this bottom line down here, we might have price reversal. You can definitely see that happening here on this chunk of the chart. Um, you have it almost touching this bottom line here before a big price reversal. Then you have it breaking through and hanging above this top line for a while before making a big price reversal. Uh, it dumps down here and almost touches this line exactly before making a big reversal. Then it comes up and touches this line perfectly here before making a move lower. That's kind of what you're looking at here. Um, I would say don't solely trade off of an indicator because you can see right here, this thing actually broke above this top blue line here and rode outside of that for a long time. So you shouldn't always just look at one single indicator and say, all right, this one indicator is telling me buy or sell. It's always good to kind of combine it with some price action because you see this thing touching this top blue line and closing above this top blue line, but the next candle is a rip. The next candle is a rip. So you want to, um, you know, combine it with some other indicator or price action or a support level, a resistance level, a trend line, something. Don't trade solely off of the indicator because if you saw it come up here and touch this blue line right here and you, you know, just said, hey, this is a short opportunity. Acceleration bands are telling me to go short. You're going to get screwed on this trade. So you definitely have to combine it with something else, usually a trend line. Um, price action, something else. Um, but you can see it is fairly accurate. You do have times where it makes big moves outside of the range. But for the most part, when it hits um, one of these lines to the top or bottom side, uh, it fairly quickly reverses in price. Um, so you can see another big move outside here where you would want to pay attention to the price action. Um, you see it right here touching it, but then we have a bearish engulf. So that's gonna tell you that this thing is not ready to reverse yet. Bam, another huge red candle not ready to reverse yet you know here you can see buyers setting up shop around 431 dollars really rejecting that level like crazy this candle right here would have been a great um, long entry for a short swing trade because you have uh, this thing trading well below this bottom line of the acceleration bands and then you see the buyers really stepping in and rejecting this 431 level really hard um, so if you thought any of the information in this video was useful please like this video Please also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I appreciate you for taking the time to watch this. Talk to you soon.